Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the CZ booth at SHOT Show 2019. And we're gonna bring Zach on here to talk about all the new products that CZ's offering. Everything from the new P10S to some of the shotguns and 22 long rifle rifles. You're gonna like these, but this is the one that I think a lot of people are excited about. This one I'm excited about. This is the optic ready version. They're also coming out with one that is not, but here is the P10S that has drawn so much attention. Let's get to Zach and we'll check it out. Hey, this is Zach with CZUSA here at SHOT Show 2019, showing off some of our new products. Uh, so the first thing I wanted to show you was our bullpup. So this is a, a kit that goes on the Scorpion, uh, meant to go on a Scorpion carbine. You can put it on a Scorpion pistol, or SBR. If you have a pistol, you're definitely gonna need an SBR to put this thing on. But uh, kind of a collaboration between Manicore Arms and CZUSA. Um, basically tear the guts out of your, your Scorpion carbine, slap them into the bullpup and assemble it. So uh, nine millimeter, obviously. Uh, one of the big complaints people typically have about bullpups is the trigger. Because because you're you're basically using a linkage to go from the much more forward trigger back to the trigger pack, um, typically they're not that great. This one is the exception. Um, basically, Sven did a lot of fancy footwork to uh, change the geometry. It made the pull longer, uh, so you actually you're you're spreading that weight out over a longer trigger pull. And it actually makes it really nice. So uh, for a bullpup, a very nice trigger. Much more compact platform. Uses uh, the same mags, but they're back behind your hand. You can still use an aftermarket grip. Uh, you can use an aftermarket trigger. You can use an aftermarket rail. HB Industries and Manicore rails go on this thing. Uh, so yeah, if you need any more information on it, head over to cz-usa.com. MSRP on that kit is $399. So you basically just add it to your Scorpion carving. So a big deal for us is our US production of uh, P10s. This is a P10F optic ready and uh, made right in Kansas City, which is something we're really proud of. Uh, we're finally kicking off production there. Uh, we actually have the F, which is a 19 plus one, the C, which is a 15 plus one, and the S, which is 12 plus one. So kind of the whole family of, uh, of CZ striker fired pistols. So this is the smaller one, um, 12 plus one. All of these variants, so they, the optics ready have a, a plate system. Uh, you can get an RMR plate or a Delta Point Pro plate, uh, working on additional ones to come. They all come with a black serrated rear sight, a big orange dot with a tritium lamp in it. And uh, yeah, a much more compact size on this. They all have our, our uh, P10, kind of a four and a half to five pound trigger, really short reset. Um, ambi guns, the big change for us also this year is we've gone to a reversible magazine release. Uh, so we had basically customer feedback, people wanted an easier magazine release to depress. And so the, the change was made all for 2019, we're going to all reversibles. Uh, so it still can be made work for a lefty, but uh, you, you will have to swap it side to side. But uh, still has an ambi slide stop and uh, trigger safety. So pretty much with the swapping of that mag, you, you have an ambi gun. All right, so showing off, uh, out of all the things that we have this year, this is probably the thing that we're most excited about. It. Um, it's been a long time coming. So this is the 457. This is the next generation of our rimfire platform. So the 455 has been in our stable for a long time. We have a ton of different variants. The 457 is just a, an update to it. And it basically brings all the little features that we wish the 455 had, keeps all the features that we love about it. So it has the same interchangeable barrel system held in by two set screws. You basically just a five minute operation to change the, the barrel. You can change from a 22 to a 22 wind mag to a 17 HMR. Uh, barrel sets are like 129 bucks is where they start. Uh, uses the same single stack mag, very reliable. Uh, but then we start getting into the things where we change. So uh, for increased scope fitment, we went from a 90 degree bolt rotation to a 60. It basically allows you to fit bigger scopes lower down on the gun. Uh, the big change is to a push to fire safety. So to take it off safe, you push it forward like a lot of American guns. The Czech guns really have had a, a you know, non-traditional wing safety on the back of the bolt and uh, it just isn't as conducive to youth shooting. So we've had a ton of 4-H instructors and hunter's ed instructors that want to have a push to fire gun to train kids on. And so now we have it. And the best part about it is you can put it on safe and still run the bolt. Basically, a lot of things have changed about it. The, the action itself is a smaller package. It's shorter. It's been slab sided. 
We have a button here you can push to, to take the bolt out, so you don't have to pull the trigger to take the bolt out. So just lots of little things that, that make this gun better. So this is our semi-auto, this is our 1012. Um, we've traditionally had a bunch of different variants on our gas-operated shotgun line. So this is a gasless system. This runs on inertia. Um, so it's a 12-gauge, 3-inch chamber. Uh, we have uh, five different variants of it. Um, everything from camo to walnut and, and uh, some pretty good color combos on the actions as well. Um, MSRPs on these start in the mid-60s and go up from there. Um, basically just a gun that's going to run anything. It's, it's meant to shoot everything from a lighter target load up to some pretty hot snow goose loads. It's taken us a lot to find the loads that it won't run. A gun that you can beat on doesn't need cleaning. We put a, a set of these through a 5,000 round basically torture test. Uh, no cleaning, no lubing, no nothing. Basically just uh, running the rounds. And they've done very, very well. We didn't break a single part. So, um, been a very good gun. We're, we're glad to bring it to market. And then kind of, if you want to go the more traditional route, we have our Bob White G2, which uh, the side-by-side -side market isn't a huge one, but if you have the right guns, it, it's it's big enough. It Basically, uh, we've had our sharp tail. We used to have our Bob White. Uh, double trigger English style stock is the kind of the claim to fame for the Bob White. Um, a more traditional shotgun, a little bit lighter, a little bit easier to lug through the field. Um, we're doing 12, 20, and 28. Um, all just, all of our side-by-sides are just extractor guns, so they have a big solid extractor. We've got a manual tank safety and the double triggers. It allows you to kind of pick your choke pretty quickly. If a woodcock gets up a little bit further, a grouse uh, doesn't hold, you can actually choose that tighter choke and uh, try to knock it down. But uh, speaking of chokes, they all come with five interchangeable chokes. Uh, and the best part of the gun is MSRP is set at $655. So there it is. Many new products coming out from CZ USA. I really like this 457 varmint. Real nice 22 long rifle. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.